I was bluffing Or maybe I'll just get out my head And focus on what I know's coming yeah. Cause I can't fall asleep at night Without seeing my dreams Delusion and reality I'm somewhere in between These voices in my head get loud And they keep telling me I'm a fool for trusting in these wings Drinking themselves crazy tonight <laughs> Baby, I should call and say, told you I'd be right Wondering how long it was before you realized The biggest mistake of your life And now you're paying the price Oh, is it confidence or confusion? Either way, I feel like I ain't never losing Your opinion or mine, you know just what I'm choosing I gotta do this Cause I can't fall asleep at night Without seeing my dreams Delusion and reality I'm somewhere in between These voices in my head get loud And they keep telling me That I'm a fool for trusting in these wings But maybe, baby, this will fly Because we got ourselves a rivalry match coming up tonight. Devil Dog, part one, coming your way from the Devil's Den in Danville. The Blue Devils taking on the Bulldogs of East Knox. We got all the action coming your way on your smartphone, TV, PC, tablet, any smart device you have with pregame coming up next. From primary care to orthopedics, women's health to pain management, the Knox Community Hospital Centerburg Health and Wellness Center provides excellent care for virtually all your family's health care needs. Comprehensive lab services are also offered at our state-of-the-art facility, podiatry and surgical consultations too. The Centerburg Health and Wellness Center, it's a world of great care right around the corner. At the Kilbuck Savings Bank, you can expect great products and service from a fellow Knox County Chamber member. Now offering premier card processing solutions and services, ensuring the business owners understand their credit card processing fees. We have a wide selection of card processing solutions that provide lower fees, faster payment, additional security, exceptional marketing features, and help to improve your business operations and customer experience.
we welcome you inside the Knox Community Hospital pregame show for this Devil Dog Part 1 on the boys' side between the Danville Blue Devils and the East Knox Bulldogs. Hello, everybody. My name is Travis Berardi. Coming to you from the Devil's Den in Danville this very, very chilly evening. And welcome inside the pregame show. Let's get underway with that. As we take a look at the team spotlight for the visiting Bulldogs of East Knox High School. Yet to get on the win column. 0-11, 0-4 in a conference. Only two games have been close thus far for them. Two losses of 10 points or less. Struggling to score the basketball so far this season. 36.3 points per game. Defensively giving up 60.1. They are 25th out of 25 teams in the D3 Central District. One of the players that if East Knox wants to get win number one is going to have to play some good defense tonight. And that is one Hayden Merritt. He is in the top 10 in the KMAC in blocks per season and he's going to have to get that defense going once again here this evening. As you see the coaching staff of East Knox introducing themselves to tonight's refereeing crew. Now let's take a look at the home squad on your scoreboard tonight, the Danville Blue Devils. They do have a win this season. It was early on in the year. However, they have been successful against East Knox in their last three games. They've come out with victories. This season averaging 47.3 points per game. However, like East Knox, giving up over 60. They are 18th in the Division IV Central District RPI. One of the players is going to have to show off tonight to help out his squad. That is Kendall Carter. This season, averaging 9.6 points per game, seven rebounds, and 1.1 blocks. So that's a matchup to look forward to tonight. Carter versus Merritt inside of the paint. As we are just about ready for the national anthem. So it's time to welcome everybody watching live in three this evening on the OH Report. Let us know where you're watching from. Give us a shout out. We'll shout you right back out including our friend Tanner Slusher watching from Cardington and Mount Gilead. Keep me updated on that game. Cardington, Centerburg, Northmore. All atop the KMAX standings right now. Also, KMAX Plus. Mason Kidwell checking in. Rooting for, well, actually both teams. We are throwing it down to the court for tonight's national anthem played by the Danville Pep Band. It's a Devil Dog game, hardwood style, without the mud. Ladies and gentlemen, before we have our national anthem, eight years ago tonight, Tragedy struck the Danville community as Officer Thomas Wayne Cottrell Jr. was ambushed and died in the line of duty. In honor of Officer Cottrell's memory, we ask that you please observe a moment of silence. Thank you. To honor America, please stand if you are able. Remove your caps and enjoy the playing of our national anthem.
Nicely done by the Danville Pep Band. As we get back into our pregame show brought to you by Knox Community Hospital. And let's take a look at our keys to victory tonight. First for the visiting Bulldogs of East Knox High School. It's a rivalry game. Devil Dog, I said this in the open. Throw the records out the door. You never know what you can do in a game like this. It seems like squads all the time play just a little bit harder, just a little bit better. And now the keys for the Danville Blue Devils. Home atmosphere. You're playing Devil Dog on your home court. You know the brims. You know every little dent in the floor. Use it to your advantage. And you will come out of here with another Devil Dog victory. So there are your, your keys to victory as the lights are coming down here in Danville for the starters for the Blue Devils. It's time for your Let's just throw it down to the floor for the announcement of the starters. There you have it, the starters, and we'll show them to you right here for both sides. We are about ready to go. Field, Miller, Poff, Karosik, Merritt for East Knox, Payne, Weckesser, Proper, Spalding, Stevens for Danville. And we're going to start off with free throws. An administrative technical against Danville. They had the book wrong, so East Knox will get two free throws to start things off. Corbin Poff will take the free throws. First free throw good, and the Bulldogs are going to start with at least a 1-0 lead. Got them both. So, Pop, it, it's both, and the Bulldogs will get possession to start this game. Miller works it around to Karosik, back to the top to Derek Field. Man-to-man -man defense for the Devils. Three in the air. Air balled out of bounds. And Danville will get possession number one, down 2 nothing.
Weckesser over to Spalding. Now to Stevens. East Knox barely, nearly got that steal, but stays with the Blue Devils. That's tipped out of bounds. It'll stay as we take a look at our first Killbuck Savings Bank replay of the evening. Payne, just across the midcourt line. We come 45 seconds into this one. Weckesser into the corner, back out to him. Walker, back to Payne. East Knox almost gets a steal again. Matchup zone for the Bulldogs. That's tip, so Danville can get possession still. Gets it inside, double team, lost the handle, was Proper, and he turns it over. First turnover of the game, East Knox with his second possession. Gets it inside to Merritt, back out to Miller, now to Karosik. Into the lane, he loses the handle, but it's somehow rolls back out to Miller and East Knox will maintain possession. Into the lane, tough shot falls. Hayden Merritt with the first field goal of the game, it's four nothing. Stevens deflected and out of bounds and we'll take a look at the bucket on the other side. Just a great take, stayed physical, stayed strong, and got the fall. Payne, rejected. Merritt got a hand on it. 4-0 here as we approach 5.45 left in the first. Poff, kicks it out to Miller for three, got it. Miller. With the three, it's 7-0 Bulldogs. Skip pass to Stevens. Back out the Weckesser. He tries the three. It's short. Out of bounds. Take a look at the corner three for the Bulldogs. And East Knox with an early timeout. Seven straight to start this one. They do lead it by a touchdown. Once again, want to welcome everybody watching live and free this evening. Let us know where you're watching from. Give us a shout out, we'll shout you out. And also for your fans watching, once we're done with this around 9.30, we will have season two, episode two of the Joe Show. So stay tuned for that one. A lot watching. Meriwether Florby, go dogs! Watching from Vermont. How much? How much snow did you get up there? Peggy Forshee, let's go Bulldogs! Also Helen McKee watching. Hello Helen. East Knox looking to extend on its lead. Karosik tried forcing it in, but it's turned over. Back come the Bull the Devils. Weckesser into the corner of the paint, and he threw it away. Right into the hands of Poff. He'll try a three. No, but an offensive board. And a foul. We'll get free throws for the Bulldogs. First rebound of the game is an offensive board. And Briar Karosik will go to the line for two. Misses the first. Substitutions for both ends. Jesse Dudgeon for East Knox. Kendall Carter for Danville. Misses both, rebound out to Danville. Danville. 
Nice pass inside the pain and the Bulldog and the Devils are on the board. Merritt had the back door but missed it. Gets that one over to Logan Whitney, who also is in the game for East Knox. He takes the inbounds. Into the lane, nice pass across, tough shot, will drop. Karosic with his first points, 9-2 East Knox. Weckesser. Over the Spalding, back to Weckesser. Danville trailing by seven as we're under four minutes left in the first. Payne, skip pass to Stevens. Now to Spalding, right side Payne three, too strong, rebound to East Knox. That was Dudgeon with the board. Whitney thought about the three, gets it deflected away to Merritt. And then Merritt throws away. Miscommunication, second turnover, East Knox. Weckesser over the Stevens, tried getting it inside to Carter. Instead, it turned over into the lane. Layup shot won't go. Board taken by Stevens, and we'll get a foul on East Knox. Foul is on Karosic is first. Derek Field checks back in for East Knox. Aiden Mickley checks in for Danville. Wack Esser. Back to Payne. Mickley gets it inside. Turnaround shot too strong. Back come the Bulldogs. Three in the air, in and out. Offensive board. Layup won't go. Another offensive board rejected by Carter. And a foul. My goodness. Watch this replay, boom. And a foul on the other end against Kyson Miller. <laughs> Mickley, back out of the Weckesser. Thought about shooting instead. Gets it inside to Carter, loses the handle. Gets it back to Payne. Payne in the lane. Right side, Spalding for three. In and out. Looked good, but rimmed away. On the other end, a quick release three. That doesn't go. Still 9-2 here with about 115 left in the first. Weckesser. Mickley, right side, handle lost. Under a minute left. Whitney gets a screen, left side, Poff. Cross court to Dudgeon for three, got it. Second three of the night for East Knox, they lead by 10. Black Esser. 
Fakes the three, gets it to Mickley. Nobody guarding him, went for the shot, but just missed. Now the Bulldogs will hold for the final shot of the quarter. Whitney, back out the field, right side now. Dudgeon in the lane, that'll be a jump ball, and it will be a change of possession. Turnover East Knox, Danville will get the final shot. Nathaniel Stevens will check in. As well as Jesse Wolford. Payne with two, one. Mickley shoots at the buzzer, short. And that is how quarter number one will end. Bulldogs with a strong start. They lead Devil Dog part one, 12 to two. From primary care to orthopedics, women's health, to pain management. The Knox Community Hospital Centerburg Health and Wellness Center provides excellent care for virtually all your family's health care needs. Comprehensive lab services are also offered at our state-of-the-art facility. Podiatry and surgical consultations too. The Centerburg Health and Wellness Center. It's a world of great care right around the corner. First quarter in the books, second quarter underway. Travis Berardi back here from Danville, Ohio. East Knox leading the, the Danville Blue Devils 12-2. Nice backdoor cut layup in and out and boarded by Danville. Great look on the offensive set to start the quarter. Just wouldn't fall though. Like Esser. Into the corner and Stevens. Payne fake the three, drives in, tough shot, no. East Knox out, rebounding Danville, eight to three. 3-0 three on the offensive glass. Tough pass. And we're gonna get a timeout. Nearly turned that over, and they'll have to waste a timeout. Back to our comments, John Wargo, Go Blue Devils, watching from Columbus. Sydney Lions, Owen and Sydney, watching our dad, Coach Lions from Athens, Go Blue. Brenda Michaelis, Go East Knox, watching my grandsons, Colton and Caleb. That'd be Colton and Caleb Armstrong, two JV players. Back to action after the timeout. Can tell you, Cardington leads Mount Gilead 28-17 after one. We'll also find a score for Centerburg and Fre Fredericktown, Freddie Bird part one. Northmore Golden Knights got the night off. Danville looking for its second bucket of the game. Not gonna happen here, it's a turnover. Fifth turnover against the Blue Devils. Into the lane, stripped out. It'll stay with Dan, with East Knox with 6.30 left. Dudgeon checks back in for the Bulldogs. He'll replace Field. <laughs> Mickley. 
Miller almost turned it over, drives into the lane. Nice pass left side. Perosic again deflected off of Danville and out. Six twenty-one left in the half. Poff into the lane, almost slipped. Pinballs around and out of bounds, a turnover. Both teams now with five turnovers in the game. Cross court to Mickley, inside the three-point line, and he gets Danville at second. Field goal of the game, Aiden Mickley off the bench for two. It's 12-4. Poff looking for the screen. Instead takes it himself. Again almost slips. And that'll be a travel. With the cold weather outside, it's, it's going to make the floor a little slick. Payne gets it to Mickley, then inside to Spalding. Cross court, too high, out of bounds. Nice effort from Nathaniel Stevens on the one-handed try, but could not corral it. Merritt over to Miller, and it stays with East Knox. Clayton Vance checks in for the Blue Devils. Back door, nice play. Hayden Merritt with his second bucket, 14-4. Beautiful back door cut. Over the Vance, into the corner. Double team, Spalding does get it back away. Now Stevens hits the back of the, the side of the backboard, offensive rebound, now two offensive boards. Possession stays with Danville. Baseline jumper, no, another board. And we're going to get a timeout. East Knox. So after all that, Bulldogs are going to get the ball back after the timeout. They, it's their second used so far today. <laughs> Bulldogs looking them extend on their largest lead of the game, 10 points. Merritt, ball fakes, triple teamed, loses the handle. Seventh East Knox turnover matches, Danville seven. Spalding back to Payne. Into the corner, Vance for three, got it. Clayton Vance showing the distance. It's 14 7. Miller almost gets the five second call instead of quick release three by Dudgeon. Answers right back. His second three, 17 7. Vance. 
Quick release after the catch. Stays with Danville here with threes on the clock. Stevens, pass deflected out of bounds, and are going to say off of Danville. Last a turnover. So we take a look at the answer by the Bulldogs. Three twenty-five left in the half. Five Bulldogs have scored already. Three for Danville. Mid-range jumper. Nobody stayed with Poff, and he has his first field goal. Along the baseline, rejected. Right back into the hands of Spalding, though he kicks it back out to Payne. Payne inside. Turnaround, just a heave, won't go. Rebound, East Knox, quickly ahead. Into the lane, we got a foul. And we'll get two free throws. Karosik went, tried to go coast to coast. Walker Weckester said, no, you're not going to get a shot off. First free throw good for Breyer. Now one of three from the line. Merritt checks in. Jesse Wolford at the bench, waiting to check in for Karosik, but that'll be after a Danville timeout. Bulldogs lead at 20 to seven. That's their largest lead of the game so far. Once again, hello everybody watching live and free. Let us know where you're watching from. Hopefully you all are bundled up. I guess you could say this is a warm evening after the last few days that we've had. Update out of the KMAC. Fredericktown leads 37-25 over Centerburg at the half. That's a score that Northmore and Cardington fans like. Last check, it's 28-17 Cardington after one over Mount Gilead. Free throw, out of the timeout, good. And Wolford now will check in. Weckesser to Payne. <laughs> Cross court, Vance, another three in and out. But an offensive board, no, it's taken away by East Knox. Back out, three for Merritt, yes! Hayden Merritt with his third field goal of the game. He's got seven, it's 24-7. A 10-0 East Knox run. And a block as we take a look at the three-pointer. Logan Whitney checks back in. Payne coming up on two minutes left in the half. Over the Vance. Walker Weckesser yet the score here this evening. Nice take into the lane, back out to Weckesser. He will try a three, too strong. Poff there with the rebound. Coming up on 90 seconds left in the half. Poff into the lane. 
somehow weasels his way through and gets it to fall, 26-7. Leckesser inside, deflected, turned over. Poff, out to Whitney. Back to Derrick Field with a minute left in the half. Here on the bottleneck scoreboard. Take to the hole, won't fall, but we'll get free throws. Two coming up for Hayden Merritt. Second foul on Mickley. Actually, this. First free throw, no good. Got the second to go. 20 point lead for the Blue Devils. 20 point disadvantage, I should say, for the Blue Devils. Bulldogs with the lead. Vance, back out the pain. Back to Vance. Nice pass inside, shot, foul. Two free throws coming up for the Blue Devils. Hayden Merritt called for the foul. Carson Proper. First point of the night. Misses the second, but an offensive board. Payne backs it out with 30 seconds left in the half. Now to Weckesser. Spalding now, back to Payne, deep three, in and out. Ball tipped and it will go the way of East Knox with 21.9 left. Poff over the Merritt. Now to Karosic. And he'll be bumped before the shot attempt. It'll be a baseline inbounds as Payne is called for his second foul. Dudgeon checks back in for Field. Mickley in for Payne. Poff with seven. Pulls up off the glass. No, gets his own board. Four seconds. Three out of bounds with 2.3. It'll stay with East Knox. It's good enough for a catch. A couple... Dribbles and a release. Inbound to Karosic, left side, three at the buzzer for Merritt is too strong and that is how the first half will end. It's been all Bulldogs here as they look to get win number one in Devil Dog Part 1. We'll take a break when we come back. The Knox Community Hospital Halftime Report right here live and free on the OH Report. From primary care to orthopedics, women's health to pain management, 
The Knox Community Hospital Centerburg Health and Wellness Center provides excellent care for virtually all your family's health care needs. Comprehensive lab services are also offered at our state-of-the-art facility. Podiatry and surgical consultations, too. The Centerburg Health and Wellness Center. It's a world of great care right around the corner. At the Kilbuck Savings Bank, you can expect great products and service from a fellow Knox County Chamber member. Now offering premier card processing solutions and services, ensuring the business owners understand their credit card processing fees. We have a wide selection of card processing solutions that provide lower fees, faster payment, additional security, exceptional marketing features, and help to improve your business operations and customer experience. Tonight's Devil Dog Part 1 game brought to you live and free on the OH Report thanks to our generous sponsors. The Bottleneck Bar and Grill, family owned and operated with locally sourced produce and cold drinks in a safe, clean, and friendly place to be. Danville Health Center, Knox Community Hospital in the community for the community. The Killbuck Savings Bank, community banking, it's what we do, it's who we are every single day. And Home and Kitchen Supply, your one-stop shop for kitchen and baths, windows and doors since 1970. Thank you all for allowing us to be live and free this evening for Devil Dog Part 1. When we come back to Knox Community Hospital Halftime Report. From primary care to orthopedics, women's health to pain management, the Knox Community Hospital Centerburg Health and Wellness Center provides excellent care for virtually all your family's health care needs. Comprehensive lab services are also offered at our state-of-the-art facility. Podiatry and surgical consultations too. The Centerburg Health and Wellness Center. It's a world of great care right around the corner. At the Kilbuck Savings Bank, you can expect great products and service from a fellow Knox County Chamber member. Now offering premier card processing solutions and services, ensuring the business owners understand their credit card processing fees. We have a wide selection of card processing solutions that provide lower fees, faster payment, additional security, exceptional marketing features, and help to improve your business operations and customer experience.
back inside the Knox Community Hospital halftime show with your score at the break, 27 to eight in favor of the Bulldogs of East Knox. Travis Berardi coming back here to you from the Devil's Den in Danville. As we take a look at the statistics through 16 minutes of play. Five twos, three threes from the Bulldogs. Two twos, one three from the Blue Devils. East Knox outright rebounding Danville, 12-7. Turnover's about equal, it's 8-7. Danville eight, East Knox seven. Bulldogs also five of eight from the line. Well, Danville only one trip to the line, they're one of two. And this low scoring Devil Dog affair. Take a look at the Danville cheerleaders getting their flips and whatnot in. Individual scoring from the first half. First for the Bulldogs of East Knox. They were led by Hayden Merritt's eight points. Jesse Dudgeon with six. Corbin Poff with six. Briar Karosik with four. Kyson Miller with three. As for Danville, Clayton Vance with three. Wesley Payne with two. Aiden Mickley with two. Carson Propert with one, score by quarter. East Knox, 12-2 after one. 15-6 in the second for their 27-8 lead at the break. KMAC update, I already told you at the break, Fredericktown leads Centerburg 37-25. And in the other rivalry game, it's rivalry weekend here, or rivalry night, I should say. Partington leads Mount Gilead 48-32 at the break. Partington, Centerburg both tied atop the K-Max standings with Northmore, who is off tonight. They will next play on Saturday, weather permitting, at Centerburg in a game you'll see live and free. Hello to Gary Schwarm, watching live tonight from Avon Park, Florida. Go Bulldogs, it's about, I'd say what, 40 degrees warmer than it is up here. It did hit 20 today. First time I've seen that in about a week. So you could say things are looking up. Just about ready for quarter. Number three. Danville will get possession to start in their home whites. Blue numbering going from right to left. East Knox in their road purples. White numbering. Weckesser inside to Spalding, puts it up. No, rebound East Knox. Poff. Kicks it right side, three in the air, yes! Kyson Miller with his second three of the night. 30 to eight. And we're gonna get a foul, so we'll take a look at the three. Fouls against Karosik is second. Nice take inside, counted in one. Derek Thiel gets on the board. Foul will be on Merritt, his second. So Danville now in the double figures. Free throw off the back iron, offensive board. Three in the air, in and out. And Danville keeps it, and a foul. We'll get more free throws, this time for Karosik. Derek Fields' first foul. Free throw good. Spalding at the line, got fouled, hits the first free throw.
Got them both. 30 to 12. Miller. To field. Back to Merritt. Nice cut inside, the flex cut works. And Miller's got his first two-point field goal of the game. He is eight. On the other end, off the front iron, offensive board again. And then answered with a three. Wesley Payne with his fifth point. 32-15. And an offensive foul. So Danville with a little life here. It's Kyson Miller's third foul. Thirty-two, fifteen, seventeen point Bulldog lead. Into the corner for Stevens for three. Off the back iron, no. Rebound, East Knox. Poff in the lane, right side. Three for the Bulldogs, no. Fought for, taken by Dudgeon. Puts it up, no, but it'll get free throws. Out of the offensive board. Free throw, good. Dudgeon will have a chance to go two for two. Coach Powell. Had a question for the referees. I guess it got answered. Second free throw, good. Dudgeon two of two. Nice pass inside, layup, yes. Spalding with his first field goal. Ball nearly stolen away. And turned over. Payne. Skip pass back to him for three, yes. Wesley Payne's second three of the second half. It's a 14 point game. Into the lane, ball stripped. Loose around, picked up by East Knox. Whitney fouled before the shot. It'll be on the floor. Fouls on Nathaniel Stevens, his first. 5.03 left third quarter, 34-20 Bulldogs. Entry, layup, foul. That's the second on Spalding. Perosic to the line, he's two of four here today. Got the first. Substitutions for both sides. Yeah, 
Dud. Carosa kicks both his first two points of the second half. Payne over to Weckesser. Back to Payne, straight away three. Doesn't have it that time. Ball pinballs around and into the hands of Briar Carosa. Three in the air, short. Long rebound on the floor. Jump ball stays with East Knox. Inbounds into Merritt. Puts it up. No. And finally, Weckester able to clear it. Payne to Weckester, then back to Payne. Inside to the big man, gets it to go. Kendall Carter with his first points of the night, 36-22. Danville's nearly doubled its first half's output in the first four minutes of the third quarter. Three won't go. Carter gets the board. Payne, left side. Mickley for two. No. Rebound, East Knox. Right side, three. No, but a foul. We'll get three free throws coming up for Jesse Dudgeon. They're actually going to say it's after he landed. So it was after the shot. So Carter... Take a look at the replay, see if they're right. He did land. So I, technically, I guess that is right. Miller. And it don't matter. Turned over. Back comes Danville. Payne to Carter. Back to Payne. Instead of shooting, gives it right back. Poff, right side, three for Dudgeon, yes, third three, 39-22. Mickley inside, ball deflected out, it'll stay with Danville to so take a look at that three. Nice inbound play finished off by Spalding. He's got six in the second half. Field, right side to Merritt. Drives in, tough shot, no. Offensive board, two teammates fighting for it. It'll be a change of possession. Turnover, East Knox. Payne. To Mickley. Into the corner now. Spalding back out. Weckesser into the lane. Forces one up. No. Bulldogs get the board and a foul against Danville. Danville. 
And that is the fifth team foul against Danville. So we're going to get free throws. East Knox has four, so next non-player control foul will put Danville at the line. Off hits the first. Got them both. Ten for Corbin. One forty five left in the third. Skip pass to Weckesser, back to Payne. Nice pass inside, layup, no. Offensive board put back, no. Nice Knox comes out with it. Quickly ahead, Merrick. The field puts it up, counted in one. Take a look at the replay. Fouls on Mickley is first. Forty four twenty four. Get past, nice entry, but it rims out again. Three again for East Knox, that one's short. Ball's on the ground. And possession will go to Danville. Mickley, under a minute to play. 20-point lead. Three in the air. Swish, nothing but nylon. Nathaniel Stevens with his first points of the night. 44-27. Trap and a foul. And more free throws will come up. Second on Stevens. Sick. Um. All right. <laughs> there is a bit of a gust of wind in here. He does hit the second. Thirty seconds left in the third. Left side, open three for Payne, is short, but an offensive board. Payne, corner three, Stevens again, got it. 15 point game, eight seconds left. Poff, five seconds inside, and we're gonna get a foul and free throws with 3.6. Stevens going to get called for his third. Short on the first free throw.
Missed both. Two seconds, one. pain from half court, no. Just short, and that's how quarter three will end. East Knox has the 15 point lead, but Danville trying to claw back. We'll see if they can come all the way back when we get into fourth quarter action. At the Kilbuck Savings Bank, you can expect great products and service from a fellow Knox County Chamber member. Now offering premier card processing solutions and services, ensuring the business owners understand their credit card processing fees. We have a wide selection of card processing solutions that provide lower fees, faster payment, additional security, exceptional marketing features, and help to improve your business operations and customer experience. Money time in Danville. Devil Dog part one. Bulldogs lead by 15. Travis Berardi back here in the Devil's Den is Bulldogs with possession. Logan Whitney had a lane, but pulls it back out. Merritt, mid-range, nothing but net. Double figures for him. It's 47-30. Mickley, short corner, short. One offensive board and then falling out of bounds was Danville and they will turn it over. Forty-seven thirty, the score. Whitney breaks the press. Gets it to Merritt. Here comes Dudgeon, counted in one. Tough take to the bucket. He's got seven in the second half. Second foul on Kendall Carter. Finishes the three-point play. Back to a 20-point lead, seven minutes left in regulation. Walker Weckesser still looking for his first bucket. Nice pass inside, reverse layup good. Eight for Spalding, all in the second half for Danville. Poff into the lane, nearly lost it again. He needs to check the footing on his shoes, the traction. He's been slipping all around all night. End of three, and Mount Gilead 64-43 in favor of Cardington. Shot out of bounds. I think they're going to say it was deflected, and they will say it is. It'll stay with Danville. Inside, deflected off. It'll stay again with Danville. They've picked up the offense in the second half, outscoring East Knox 22-18 in that third. However, is that first half deficit too much? Three in the air, in and out. Put back, no. Rebound out, stays with Danville. Weckesser, no. Ball tipped. And finally... Taken out by East Knox. Oh. 
Offensive foul. Merritt was out of control. Charge is called. Timeout, East Knox. 6-10 left. 50-32 is the score. Just gonna get some scores from around the area for you. So take a look at the Danville Band. Centerburg trails Fredericktown 62-57 with 92 seconds left there. Look around the area at some more. Girls score, Margareta 34, Edison 23. Not many games going on this Wednesday evening, but you know what is going on around 9.30? The Joe Show. Joe Show about 9.30 tonight. Episode two of season two. You won't want to miss it. Back to action here. Danville needs a big run, they need it now. Payne. Shot falls for Kendall Carter. He's got four. 50 to 34. Full court pressure easily broken by the Bulldogs. Poff into the lane, answers. Ten for him. Pass inside. Lost the handle, but it was due to a foul, and we'll get free throws for Danville. Dudgeon's first foul. Spalding is two of two tonight, make it two of three. Winner of this one gets its first K-Mac victory of the season. He misses both. The Bulldogs come out with it. Miller. And we're going to get a foul on Stevens. That's his fourth. Both teams with two team fouls in the fourth quarter. 5-16 left in regulation. Make sure to stay tuned after the game for the Knox Community Hospital post-game report, as well as our Danville Health Center MVP. Poff, closely guarded by Weckesser. Goes to the lane, one hands it up and in. Corbin with back-to-back -back buckets. It's back to a 20-point game with five minutes left. Weckesser, right side to Spalding for three. Rimmed around and out. Carter, though, with two boards. Almost got the five-second call. Instead, it's stripped from behind, but right back into the hands. Layup, no. Put back, no. And another offensive board. And then a turnover. Ball on the ground. And it's out of bounds on East Knox. It'll stay with Danville. Trailing by 18 with 421 left. Payne fakes the three. Quadruple teamed and fouled on the floor. And 
That'll be the third foul on Miller. Payne from the corner, short again. Weckester there, he can't get it to fall. And East Knox comes out with it. That'll be the third on Kendall Carter, and we're going to get a technical. That was the technical. It's called on Walker Weckesser. So, after the technical, Poff will get two free throws. Got the first. Now he will shoot his two other free throws. Short on the first. He goes three of four. Now, because of the technical, East Knox will get possession. The technical and the foul also puts Danville at four. East Knox will be in the bonus the rest of the way. Left side, a three, short offensive board. And there is the foul. So we will have two free throws as Stevens fouls out. He'll finish with six points. Rosick hits the first. Six of his eight points. Make it seven of nine coming from the charity strike. Nice scoop, won't go. Back out. Payne works his way through. Tough bucket. Ten for Wesley. Foul called, more free throws. It's on Braylon Kaufman. Karosic hits the first. Down to both.
Short range, no. Put back, yes. Spalding again. And again, Poff slips, but kept his dribble that time. Man's going to need to get some stick on his shoes. Open lane, right side. Miller decides to pull it back out, up 21. And there's the foul. That'll be on Vance. And we'll get more free throws. Merritt hits the first. Now the backups will be coming into play. Misses the second. And a jump ball. Owen Gronberg in for Danville. Logan Lewis, Carter Stevens in for East Knox. Proper for three, yes. Carson's first field goal of the night. Danville sticking with that full court pressure with 95 seconds left. Miller backs it out. East Knox is going to try and play keep away to finish this one out. Nice backdoor cut, but smartly pulls it out. 30 seconds left. This is how the game's going to end. East Knox. Is going to get its first victory of the season in the K-Mac. And its first victory of the year. That's it. East Knox wins Devil Dog Part 1. They get their first win of the year. 62-43 is the final. We'll take a break and come back with the Knox Community Hospital post-game show and the Danville Healthcare MVP right here, live and free. From primary care to orthopedics, 
women's health. To pain management, the Knox Community Hospital Centerburg Health and Wellness Center provides excellent care for virtually all your family's health care needs. Comprehensive lab services are also offered at our state-of-the-art facility. Podiatry and surgical consultations too. The Centerburg Health and Wellness Center. It's a world of great care right around the corner. At the Kilbuck Savings Bank, you can expect great products and service from a fellow Knox County Chamber member. Now offering premier card processing solutions and services, ensuring the business owners understand their credit card processing fees. We have a wide selection of card processing solutions that provide lower fees, faster payment, additional security, exceptional marketing features, and help to improve your business operations and customer experience. Devil Dog Game brought to you live and free on the OH Report thanks to our generous sponsors. The Bottleneck Bar and Grill, family owned and operated with locally sourced produce and cold drinks in a safe, clean, friendly place to be. Danville Health Center, Knox Community Hospital in the community for the community. Killbuck Savings Bank, community banking, it's what we do, it's who we are every single day. And Home and Kitchen Supply, your one-stop shop for kitchen and baths, windows and doors since 1970. Danville Health Center MVP. It is East Knox's Jesse Dudgeon. 14 points, three threes as East Knox cruises to the Devil Dog victory over Danville. First of all, congratulations, Jesse. What a start for you guys. 12 2 in the first, 15 6 in the second. You held them to eight points in the first half. Just what was the game plan coming in? I know you throw the records out the door and you just play basketball. Well, Coach Powell, he told us to have faith and play hard and try to win this game. We really needed it. Um, you lost three straight to them. They knocked you off the second time the year you guys won a district championship, and then last year they swept you guys. Just uh, did that? Uh, was that a little bit of motivation trying to get one back in the win column, especially after what happened down the street yes. in the fall? Yes, we, we really needed that win. Um, it does get you your first victory of the season. Uh, but you know what? The great thing about basketball, everybody makes the tournament. You still have a half of a season to get things straight, to get yourselves a better seed. Just what do you guys need to work on the second half of the season to continue to get better and get ready for the tournament? Uh, our defense needs to get better. I know we did a good job of that, but it needs to get better, and our fouls, they're hurting us. 
All right, lastly, if you want to look in the camera, give anybody a shout out that you'd like, go for it, my friend. Uh, I'd like to thank Pal. Uh, he taught me how to play basketball again, and he was what made me better. And Fannin, he's really good for me, too. And my mom, she helped me through this. There you go. Tonight's MVP, Jesse Dudgeon. Three threes in way to 14 points and a Devil Dog victory. Congratulations. At the Kill Buck Savings Bank, you can expect great products and service from a fellow Knox County Chamber member. Now offering premier card processing solutions and services, ensuring the business owners understand their credit card processing fees. We have a wide selection of card processing solutions that provide lower fees, faster payment, additional security, exceptional marketing features, and help to improve your business operations and customer experience. Welcome back inside the Knox Community Hospital post-game show where East Knox rolls to a 62-43 victory over Danville and Devil Dog Part 1. Travis Berardi back here at the Devil's Den to put a bow on this one on this chilly January 17th evening. Let's take a look at the final statistics. Both teams finished with 11 twos. Both teams finished with six threes, but the difference in this one, the free throw line. 19 points was the difference. That was the difference from the charity stripe. East Knox, 22 of 29 from the line. Danville, three of seven. East Knox just continued to take it to the hole and get fouled, and that is what won them this game tonight. Danville got their shooting going in the second half, but it was free throw shooting. Free throw shooting, kids, that won this game for the Bulldogs. Individual scoring for this evening, we're starting with East Knox. Corbin Poff leads the way, 15 points. He was seven of eight from the charity stripe tonight. Jesse Dudgeon, our MVP, 14 points. He was three of three. Briar Karosik, Hayden Merritt, both 11 points. Karosik, 9 of 12 from the line. Merritt, 2 of 4. Tyson Miller, 8 points. Derek Field, 3 points. He was 1 of 2 from the charity stripe. As for Danville, Wesley Payne and Ashton Spalding both scored 10 points for the Blue Devils. Nathaniel Stevens, Kendall Carter, both with 6. Carson Proper, Aiden Mickley, both with 4. And Clayton Vance, with three. Score by quarter, 12-2 East Knox after one. 15-6 Bulldogs in the second for a 27-8 lead at the break. Danville answered in the third, 22-18 to make it 45-30, but it was too little too late. East Knox finishes 17-13 for the 62-43 win. Next up for East Knox, they're at Fredericktown in one week. One week from now, and let's see if we can get a final on that Centerburg Fredericktown game to let you know. It was a close game towards the end of it. Also, an update Cardington knocks off Mount Gilead 81 59 to stay tied with Northmore in the loss column in the Knox Morrow Athletic Conference. Fredericktown wins by two over tr the Trojans of Centerburg. So, Fredericktown going to be riding a high when they host East Knox next week. As for Danville, they'll be heading to Mount Gilead in three days on Saturday, 7.30. It's a Mount Gilead squad looking to bounce back. Both teams looking to bounce back. But that'll wrap it up from here. I want to thank everybody that helped make things possible tonight. Brandon Powell on the camera work. Good work, my friend. Also, our sponsors, the Bottleneck Bar and Grill, our scoreboard, Danville Health Center, our MVP, Knox Community Hospital, pregame, halftime, postgame, 
Killbuck Saving Bank Instant Replay Sponsor, Home and Kitchen Supplier Timeout Sponsor, and our commercial sponsors of Knox Community Hospital and the Killbuck Savings Bank. I want to thank the fine folks here at Danville and their athletic department for allowing us to be here tonight. And I want to thank the OHSAA for allowing us to stream these games to you live and free. That'll do it for us, but we are not done this evening in about 25 minutes. It's the Joe Show, Season 2, Episode 2, coming your way. But for now, for Brandon Powell, I'm Travis Berardi saying so long from Danville. <laughs>